Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris from Warrior Soul Fitness. Um, I wrote an, a, a blog today about protein intake and why you're probably consuming too much protein. And um, I'm saying you're probably consuming too much protein because you're probably like I was, where I was consuming one to two grams of protein per pound of body weight per day. Um, the whole point of the blog is that you really don't need that much. You probably need closer to one uh, to 0 0.5 to 0 0.75 grams of protein per pound of body weight per day if you're trying to build muscle um, or for any real athletic or fitness goal. Probably the cap is around 0 0.8. Um, I strongly encourage you to check the blog because I'm not going to go over a lot of the scientific sources here in this video, but I do cite all of the scientific sources, uh, peer-reviewed journals in the blog, so I definitely encourage you to do that and not just listen to what I'm saying because I'm honestly just a talking head. Um, I really want to be transparent and I really want to give you guys a chance to research these articles, see what they actually say, and make your own decisions on your own nutrition. Um, why am I saying that you're probably eating too much protein and why is too much protein bad? Well, there's a few different reasons for this. Um, the first reason is gut health. Um, your gut is probably the most important thing that you're not taking care of right now. And it's probably, and not keep taking care of it is probably one of those things that's really holding you back, not only in your performance and muscle building, but also in your entire life right now. You're, you're not as clear if your gut's un un unbalanced. You're uh, not able to perform mentally as well. And that's because your, uh, your um, central nervous system is connected to your digestive system via something called the vagus nerve. And uh, anything that affects your gut health is going to affect your mind. So for instance, if you have a bacterial imbalance in your intestinal tract, it could affect things like depression. It could affect things like your ability to um, coordinate your muscles to perform um, and many of you if you're trying to get in the gym and do heavy lifting um, your gut health can actually have a very big effect on your strength and your performance and your workouts um, <clears throat> on top of that uh, if you are if you have an imbalanced gut uh, and there's a lot more bad bacteria in the gut than good bacteria then those bad bacteria can release toxins into the system causing total body chronic inflammation, which I've described to you in many videos before uh, as being one of the big, biggest obstacles to people being able to build muscle and burn fat. Um, because your body, when it's in a state of chronic inflammation, releases cortisol, and at that point the body doesn't want to build muscle or burn fat. It wants to hold on onto all the fat as much as possible and burn as much muscle as possible because muscle is energy stealing while fat is energy saving. So the bottom line is uh, consuming too much protein, especially animal protein, can really throw off um, those uh, the balance between friendly bacteria and bad bacteria in your gut. Uh, second, eating too much protein can um, release a lot of ammonia into your system. And the reason is because when protein amino acids are being converted into nitrogen in the system for use by the body, um, they give off ammonia as a byproduct. And what happens is the liver has to convert that ammonia into urea to be excreted, either as feces or as um, uh, urine. And so um, if you are exceeding uh, way over exceeding the recommended daily, daily allowance of protein. Not to say that you have to be at the recommended daily allowance, but if you're going like um, 200 to 400 grams of protein uh, per pound of body, or 200 to, 200 to 14 grams of protein per day, then um, your liver starts to have a problem in handling all of that ammonia and converting it into urea. It builds up in the bloodstream and can really affect your internal organs uh, and especially your kidneys uh, because your kidneys are working to try to get that stuff out of you, um, causing again inflammation, increased risk of cancer, um, diabetes, and heart disease. Um, third, uh, as far as consuming a lot of protein goes, it's super freaking expensive. Um, I used to eat like three to five pounds of meat a day and uh, between that and protein supplements it can get really expensive and given that the studies show that you probably need less protein than you originally thought um, you could save a lot of money by cutting protein out of your diet and given that a lot of you are probably younger and just starting out in life 
um, there's probably better and more useful things you could spend your money on um, and or saving to invest or something like that um, rather than spending hundreds uh, or maybe thousands of dollars on protein every year um, and again the fact of the matter is you don't need it in the first place you don't need as much as you think you do in the first place so you're just wasting money uh, in addition to that um, protein can actually affect uh, your aging process and what happens is um, the amount of amino acids in your bloodstream are actually um, directly coordinated to a gene responsible for for aging it's uh, I believe it's called the mammalian target of rapamycin and um, what happens is uh, when you decrease the amount of amino acids in your bloodstream that can actually interrupt the signaling of that gene which can start to keep you from aging so how much protein do you actually need? Most studies, again, just demonstrate that you need anywhere between 0.5 and 0.75 grams of protein per pound of body weight. Uh, and in particular, uh, studies have actually even demonstrated that you can maintain nitrogen balance, or elite bodybuilders have been able to maintain nitrogen balance on as little as 0.37 grams of protein per day. And novice lifters have been able to maintain nitrogen balance in the long term uh, on as little as uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.75 grams of protein per pound, uh, per pound of body weight per day. And um, studies have actually demonstrated that you can build muscle and burn fat on consuming as little as 0 0.5 to 0 0.75 grams of protein per pound of body weight per day. And the most you probably need is probably about 0.8 grams of protein per pound of body weight per day. So again, my point is not that protein is evil, it's not that protein specifically is going to give you cancer, but eating too much of it, as a lot of us have been, is probably really ill-advised. And I'm as guilty of it as any of you are. Um, I've drunk the bodybuilding Kool-Aid before, um, mainly because uh, I think we do it because we're trying to fit in in this kind of group or clique that we have uh, in the bodybuilding world. And a lot of these ideas just basically turn us into sheep um, who mindlessly go out and buy protein supplements and amino acids to try to increase our protein supply um, and spend tons of money when we don't need to and when our health and our vitality and our gains could actually be positively affected by decreasing the amount of protein we eat per day. So again, check out the blog. I'll post it in the description box, a link to it in the description box below. Um, if you watch this video, you have to read the blog, otherwise you're not getting anything out of this. Um, you know, hit me up if you have any questions. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos, and uh, have a great day. Peace.